And Kitui Governor Dr. Julius Malombe has proposed the introduction of a 3% levy on all salaried Kenyans to fund education costs. Speaking at a forum organized by the Presidential Working Party on Education Reform at Kitui School Social Hall, Governor Malombe termed inadequate funding as the greatest challenge to basic education in the country. The announcement by the government that funding to public university education will be stopped continues to invoke strong emotions among shareholders, with Kitui County boss Dr. Julius Malombe proposing a mandatory introduction of a 3% levy on all salaried Kenyans to fund the education sector. Malombe proposed that the levy be applicable to all income earners, regardless of whether they have schooling children or not. Nimependekeza a levy kutoka wale ambao tunamishara, ambao aizidi more than 3%. Ukiwa unamtoto ama unamtoto, we come up with bold initiatives. Now to address the elephant in the room, and the elephant in the room is financing. He was speaking at a forum convened by the Presidential Working Party on Education Reform in Kitui County, led by Dr. Halima Sado Abdilahi, appearing before the committee to submit their views. The Kenya National Union of Teachers, NAT, and the Kenya Union of Post-Primary Education Teachers, GUPET, said the teachers were not sufficiently motivated to implement the competency-based curriculum. The truth was CBC did not succeed is that a demoralized teacher is a demoralized teacher. A teacher who has not been given promotion is a demoralized teacher. A teacher who has not been deployed properly is a demoralized teacher. Parents are required to buy so many items almost on a weekly basis. It looks like it's not affordable, only affordable by the rich families. And we recommend as follows, government provides to schools all needed materials are set out in the curriculum. The Education Task Force is traversing the 47 counties to collect views of Kenyans regarding what needs to be done to improve the CBC and the education system in general. Mary Mwoki, Citizen TV, Nairobi.